Do you have one of these? Well, I'm going to show you how to make it like a MSR Titan, just with this. Now this is a hack that I came across on a forum, so it's not my invention. But I have some um, feedback about how to do it and some of the problems of buying silicon tubing like this. And so let's go to the hand cam and talk about that. And yes, here we are in the hand cam, and I am recording this in my bathroom, hence the dripping noises and amazing decor. And this is the tape I did my artwork on, so hence it's not in the most lovely, but I've got my mojito, so let's go. So as I said, you can make one of these. Yeah, he says. I have this titanium pot which is very, very good. And also you can see from, the, from it, it's been very used, but I added silicon tubing, which I don't mind this. This is the cafe press, which I'm moving maybe to a lighter way of doing coffee because the whole point is that it is quite clever in a way. It sort of goes in there. And then, although I've adapted this to have a alternative that doesn't necessarily you, that knob usually screws into there Oop. and then you can use it as a sort of a pot for your water it's a 750 mil titanium pot and then you can use it for water or coffee or I've cooked with it done pasta and risotto in this but anyway we don't need that at the moment yeah, noises um, we bang the camera Yes, I don't have a proper tripod, so it's like a little boingy thing. I'm going to open up my mojito. And this is, of course, what you use a titanium spork for. AMSR. <laughs> so yes, I've, I've got this titanium pot. And one of the problems is, of course, the handles get really hot. And I saw those Titan pots, which have rubber or silicon on the handles and I was like surely surely you can make something like that and I sort of googled around and found a forum post which if I can find it again I will I will put into the description of this thing and so what you do is you find silicon tubing and find the stuff that's usually for RC cars for is it nitro fuel but you can use any any silicon tubing once it's sort of heat proof. Obviously it won't be flame proof, hence why I've left bits around here. Around here. I'm not a good hand model, am I? And bits around here and here where we're against this part where I've left it. And so I haven't put it on there. And what you do, or what the instructions were, <laughs> were to use a 2.3 mil internal diameter tubing. That was very bad advice because actually it turns out that maybe their pots had very, very thin wire in them. This, although I measured it and it was like a couple of mil before I bought the stuff, and it was only a couple of quid. This stuff is only a couple of quid. But you'll find that, of course, it's silicon, it's very, very, very grippy and very hard to put on. So I had to put it on in pieces. So you can probably see, if I hold it close to the camera, that there are sort of, there are pieces. It's not all one piece, which is not exactly as I wanted it. So what I'd recommend to people is try three mil um, internal diameter, which is probably more common to find. I suspect this is actually two mil. Anyway, what you can do, and I will I will see if it causes a problem with this one, which is this is the Alp Kit Mighty Bowl, which I'm going to use as a bowl. It's titanium. It's only like at the moment it's on it was, it was on the special, so it's like 16, 17 quid. Usually, what I do is I was taking a plastic bowl and also taking this, which is light, but not really made for the job. 
It's a, I found this in an Asian shop. I think it's supposed to be a fish steamer or a fish smoker. Um, and sometimes I would just use it with the grill. But that wasn't really that good working as a pan. Um, just generally not very good. So I invested in one of the Alp kits. I need a drink. Especially the Alp kit has slightly bigger dimensions on the handles. So that was hard. What I did with that is I added silicon grease and we will see if that's flammable <laughs> and actually try it. But I, I shouldn't be. I did Google it. But uh, yeah, you can try adding silicon grease and then sliding it on. Um, but again, I still had to do it in pieces. So what I'd recommend is using slightly bigger tube if you can. Even if it sort of moves around a bit, that's, you know, you can always fix it in place somehow. But we'll see if this hack works in the wild. It should do. And these titanium pots are wonderful. I mean, I know, I mean, carrying aluminium pots is not a massive weight, although the jet boils are, I mean, this is like, I don't know, 100 grams, 70 grams, it's, it's, and that's that's definitely around 70 grams. They are very, very light. I mean, I think the, the, the cafe press is a bit more, because that's steel. I'm burping now. <laughs> yes. No, for future, don't do videos with mojito. But yes, so these are very, very good. Um, they withstand a lot of abuse, as you can see, <laughs> from the outside. And they get like that. Yeah, the inside's fine, but then, yeah, they get very sooty. And yeah, I mean, if you're the bothered, you can scrub it off, but you know, it's, it doesn't affect. But you've got the markings as well, somewhere which I'm not going to show you on the camera. Da, 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 da. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, there we are. And of course it's metric and the very weird system, which is the American ounces. Well, we don't talk about that here. So, <laughs> and yes, if you, if you have one of these and you want to know what the diameter of these knobs are, to replace that, it is M5, I think it's five mil. So if you if you get an M5 bolt, and then do as I've done, get a sort of short one, and then just put a few nuts on, catch up with the back there camera. So yes, if you do that, you should uh, be able to replace it. I'm, I would prefer this to be a a plastic or a silicon knob. Uh, uh, replacement. If anyone knows of something that would fit a sort of an M5, sort of about M5, I think it is. It's slightly rotates, but it's an M5 hole. Uh, yes. Uh, that Let me know, because it, uh, the difference with the MSR Titans is they have like a triangle loop here, which again is covered in silicon, and that's obviously better for when you're picking it up. But this should really help not transmit the heat when you're lifting it off your stove or your or your fire. I mean, it possibly will burn in places. Um, this silicon is fine up to 200 degrees centigrade. Yeah, obviously it won't withstand direct flames. So if you're doing proper campfires, uh, the handle thing won't be great. But I usually have this up here above like that when I'm cooking although obviously with the weight now it probably it'll probably fall down but you know it, it's it, you know I usually have it above away from the flame and then pick it up because it's always a problem you know whether you take pan holders whether you take one of those little tiny silicon mittens but I also have I'll talk about this in the gear video the silicon cup but I've actually found one of these silicon things to cover it and I'm pretty sure I could possibly at a pinch use that as a grabby if not you can use a towel a bandana or a towel to, to grab any hot things off but this should really help and as I say I'm moving to a Primula brew, brew, Primula brew buddy get it right it's the mojito it's the mojito um, for the Cafe, coffee, caf, caffeine, the coffee press, because that's basically something that sits in the cup, and you you put it right in, then you pour the water in. Uh, it'd be a lot lighter than this, 
and also at a pinch you could probably strain water with it if you are going wild camping and you need to filter water but the water's dirty having a coffee filter of some sort even this is useful because you can then filter the sort of particulates out of the water before because the problem is with all the water filters they'll clog and so if you've got like cloudy water or sort of very muddy water there's a danger it can, it can clog up if it's like that and some, some of the things like the chemical treatments require you to pre-filter the water or just strain the water and which you can do through a bandana or some fabric, a t-shirt or whatever, but it, you know, it's, it's, if you've got like a little coffee filter or something that's, you know, that's useful. It's one of my luxuries, I have to have coffee. <laughs> I can't, I can't exist without coffee. Oh, and the colour, partly because we like to defy gender norms, uh, I chose pink, because if there's an option between blue and pink, I always choose pink. We don't like gendering of colours. But also think about how you're going to see it in red light because um, if you are like got your red light torch on, if it's um, green, come out black, so you want something that's white or yellow or red, bright red, or this is fluorescent pink, it does come out quite bright in the red light. Because if you're cooking at night, you've got in late, um, you're cooking late on, using a red light to stop the pesties, you want to be able to see your handles in the dark. And so that's why something that's red or white or yellow should come out quite bright under a red light. Whereas blues and greens will probably come out more of a dark black. So yeah, that's the reason for the pink. And also I liked it and fluorescent. It's always good. I think it looks quite nice. So anyway, I hope that helps. <laughs>